Shall we play a game? Hello there. It's time for the stream. How's my voice levels look? They look okay. So, we're going to have a look at the Goblin Suffragette. Hello, Dave Randall, Drummy, Gabs Photography, and other people who are watching who haven't announced themselves yet. Feel free to join in the chat. Actually, let's start by having a look at the journeys, I guess. Because we didn't see the journeys on the preview, I don't think. It's called Triumph on the Thames. I have picked the right one, haven't I? Yep, good. So, striding through the suburbs is just the training centre introduction for the Class 710. Barking up the wrong tree, one of the scenarios, and two of four, sorry, four of the services. I clearly can't count. Riverside Ride, where we've got uh, two more of the scenarios. This is my favourite one, by the way, Halloween Goblin. And we've got four more services by the looks. And Feeling the Frost, which is, surprise, five services and a scenario. Hello, Benjamin's brain in a jar. How are you? How is your brain today? How is your jar today, perhaps? All right, so let's pop out of journey mode and let's have a look. If there's anything you want to see, please sing out in the chat. So there's a route introduction like usual, and there's the 710 training we looked at. There are five scenarios. Up until a little while ago, it was four, and much to my uh, brief moment of panic, merely before this stream, the game updated, but it's done. It probably means that it might be a little jerky while we play, because it'll be compiling shaders again, but that is life, isn't it? So the first one is Football Focus. Transport for London are put on a footy tour. So we can go through the local stadiums and get stuff explained to us. The Flood. A flood near Walthamstow has caused major disruptions. This one's actually more fun than it sounds, to be honest. Halloween Goblin. This one's cool. This will be a good one for Halloween specials for everybody. Spooky season. Operate a late evening service whilst encountering a variety of scary sights. And pumpkins, I might add. Stock OC. A section of the line has been closed and the amount of congestion is growing. Stay vigilant and try to complete your service with no further delays. Remember, remember, it's the 5th of November and bonfire night festivities are commencing tonight. Expect heavy traffic and stay vigilant for any mischief. Sounds like me, mischief. So I've looked at the scenarios. Timetable-wise, there's a bunch of layers, so would you be at all surprised to know it's got a 710? Uh, Benjamin's brain in a jar says my jar is double glazed and my brain is mostly floating in the middle. Excellent. The Jubilee is from Peak Forest, so these are the layers, and you get two steam rail tours. All of the freights and rail tours are quite short. They're all about 20 minutes. It's not the longest route in the world, so I'm not that surprised. The Class 20 from Tees Valley has a separate service. I'm actually pleased to say that all of the different locos have different services. Now, this, was, this one's interesting because this is actually two layers because you get the Wembley and Ripple Lane, on the uh, Southeastern High Speed 37.7 EPX, which is the 37 DLC. And from West Cornwall, you get different ones, hitching to Cardiff and Perfleet to Daventry, which is kind of nice. I think this is the longest service, so it's probably slow, would be my get. Beth, it's uh, 39 minutes. The Class 33 Green from West Somerset has... I haven't actually run this one, but it does say it's a rail tour, so the whole upper Holloway up goods like to Barking. What if we do this one? I'm not sure about this one, we'll do the 20 later. And the 66s, these appear to my untrained eye to all have the same group of services, and there's rather a lot. So there's quite a bit of freight to work your way through. They're all quite short, but they are... We're running 12 minutes, 20 minutes, 39 minutes, so they'll be full-length runs. 40 minutes, I saw a couple of in there. So, yeah, there's plenty of freight to do. But, of course, the star of the show is the 710. And I've picked a service just because I like morning timetables. I haven't actually run this one. So, I hope it's one that survives. And, like I said, the game literally updated about 10 minutes ago, which is worrying me just a little bit. Because, you know... No one needs that. 
Uh, let's get this to today's date would be better, wouldn't it? Even notice that sometimes it goes to today's date by itself and sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of annoying. Did I say it was annoying? Yes, I did. All right. Boggy? No, not for a root reveal. Light clouds. That's what we want. Okay, so we're going to run from Barking Riverside to Gospel Oak. And if there's anything that people would like to see... G'day, Andy. If there's anything people would like to see while we're running along... Oh, it's dark. That's no good. <laughs> Oh, I think I might move that and make it June, maybe. What do you reckon? I think we'll do that again. I think we'll do that again. What's the point of showing it off in the dark? The lighting's okay, but, you know, streaming a train in the dark's kind of boring. Let's do that again. Let's make it July. Did I actually tried that before? It was okay, but, you know, we're coming in the other way now. That's because my brain is, uh, it belongs to Benjamin. All right. So this time it knows it's 18th of March. Let's make it uh, let's, let's, June. June. I'm going there in June. I'll be there at this time. Will I? No, I'll be just leaving home. I'll be going back home. I'm going in the middle of May and coming back. MX Erica, hello. I am going to the UK in the middle of May to visit lots of railways and going home in the middle of June. That's better. It's daylight. That's what we want. All right. Let's wake this thing up for a start. And then we can go and have a look outside. It does work with rail driver, so I've got to put it to secure AC pantograph up, and then I put it to forwards. And safety systems are over here behind this little panel. And DSD for vigilance and TPWS. Now, interestingly, if you leave this panel open, it rattles while you drive, and if you don't, it doesn't. So we'll reset that. WS at AWS. DSMR starts up all by itself. Contact signaler is on the phone. Right about now, my tutorial for this should be going live. But let's go have a look outside for a start. And there she is, the 710. For me, comparing the livery to videos and photos, it looks pretty good. If we go inside, I should have opened the doors, really, shouldn't I? That would have been smart. Let's go open the doors. And then we can go inside the easy way. Okay. Back out again. So we have our beloved Train Sim World 4 people. They do some weird and wonderful things on this route. You shall uh, see that, no doubt. These seats at the end aren't usable by either AI or us. There is PIS inside the trains and on the platforms. I'm told by one of the people in my Discord that PIS at one of the stations is not the correct type, but most of them are okay. They do cycle through various messages and telling you about other things like the underground status and the like. There's some people down the back disappearing. This guy wants to leave, so we should probably leave too. Collectibles, I've already collected this one sadly, but defibrillators, fire extinguishers, root maps, and goblins. The goblins used to be a touch easier to find than they are today. Is it time to go? Not quite actually. So, what am I honking the horn for? Oh god, we're not sitting here for bloody five minutes. I didn't choose very wisely. Let's go and explore. Or should we just pinch the other train? We could do that. It hasn't gone. Has it got a driver? No, when does this one leave? I might pinch this one. When does it leave? Where's the PIS? This is a PIS, I think. 618. God, that leaves after us. Why is it called the 601 service and it leaves at 608? That's silly. No, it's only four minutes, I suppose. We'll put up with it. Hi. Morning. How are you doing? Let's see what we can find new things on our passengers. Ah, Harry Potter glasses. There's one of the new things on passengers. People with earbuds. You can thank a developer named Ollie for the changes to passengers. We've got some different outfits as well. More Harry Potter glasses. We could do with some variety in the glasses, but just having them is cool. It's a good start. Yeah, you know, glasses. <laughs> 
killing time, killing more time. Headphones. I think we've had headphones in the last release. So this one's, it's not actually the 633 because ours is the 608. It's only three minutes to go. That'll cycle through another one soon and tell us our train, I dare say. Sooner or later, when it cycles through all the pages, which we're not going to wait for because, you know. Oops, did I just place a route map? I think I did. Look at that. There you go. It's quite a complex route. If we have a look at it, we've got Barking Riverside, which is where we are, running around the loop down through Upper Holloway to Gospel Oak. And there's connections with various lines as you go through the route. You will see some freight here and there. You will see some other electric trains. Look, workers doing not much at all. That's okay. We believe them. Hello, Neil TB8. How are you? I'm surprised you're not streaming this. We're just killing time because, you know, I really wisely picked a service. Does that seat work? Oh, it does. Oh, it's got a step. I hadn't tried that before. No, can't fold it back up. Okay, once it's down, it's down. I should tell you, Neil, while you're here, you like Easter eggs. If you leave this panel open when you drive, it rattles to remind you that it's open. Ah, oh, one minute and a half to go. Uh-oh, what's he on, do you reckon? That doesn't look good, does it? That looks like he's, uh... Yeah, he's having a hard time. Maybe he's actually a fish. He's clearly got a blocked nose. Breathing through his mouth. That's new, actually. That's kind of cool. Fairly detailed safety card. These are the things we get on airplanes that we never look at. Does anybody look at them in trains? Probably not. All of the graphics are quite nice, quite crisp. There's no guard panel because there are no guards on this train. We should probably close this and get ready to go. Good. You can actually close the cab door. Can you close that one? You can. Excellent. I probably should have pressed the DRA while I was sitting there. Um, one thing you might notice is my door interlock light is on, so the doors automatically close after a short time, and you can get to drive the train. Let's have a little bit of sun blowing down. That'll do. Yeah, it's better. Helps with the eye adaption in Unreal, strangely enough. Makes things darker. But wait, that's what sun blinds are supposed to do. I saw Matt in the stream do things with this screen, but I can't make it do anything, so I'm tipping that was in the version he had, and not the version we have. So this is an, a slightly early access version, although given it just updated, I'm tipping it probably is the release version. So it's time... Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was meant to be at Barking at 6.08, and I just opened the doors. I'm an even bigger idiot. That's okay. We'll have to do a spirited journey on the way to Barking. Because I should have gone a little while ago. He's going to let me drive. You can see the power comes on on the meter here. How fast are we allowed to do? 25, and we're supposed to be in Barking 40 seconds ago. No one yelled at me and called me an idiot. I'm surprised. You should have. I would have appreciated it. How are the levels of the train for you guys? We've been holding this poor fella up. I am driving with rail driver today. I have tried it with keyboard and controller. It works fine with both. The train accelerates quite nicely. Brakes like a slug. If you're new to my stream, you can use, assuming Nightbot's actually listening today, commands like this. 
if Nightbot's listening. We'll soon see. Yep, there we go. So this is the newest section of the line, which is built fairly recently. Do I see a... Um, I do, I see a pink 66 sitting on a freight over here. It must be Matt's train. Still nothing moving in the digger department, sadly. I know we all want diggers to move. It'd be really cool. It's a fairly long run. Oops, going a little bit fast. Naughty. It's a fairly long run from Barking Riverside to Barking. It's probably the longest distance from any of the stations, I think. There's lots and lots of stuff just littered around the place for you to look at, so visually it's quite appealing. Hey Florian, how are you? Yeah, I'm not sure not sure about interacting with the screen, Neil. I've tried in a few different situations and I've been unsuccessful, but uh, who knows what you can do with that after that update that just came in. It's like a, another shed moment with a class 66 off to the left here. How do I know it's a class 66 and not a 67? Because we haven't got one. One day. Surely one day we'll get another freight locomotive. Wouldn't that be cool? Gav says Matt's inside the pink 66. That's quite possible. He could be doing the pre-start checks. In the engine compartment. You have to wonder, is the engine pink? Might be. Already running kind of late, of course. Graphics-wise, I'm quite happy with this one. It's got a nice lived-in feel. It's got enough clutter around the place. Like any of the railways, it never seems to have much in the way of litter or anything like that on the ground. And we all know that reality is quite different to that. And just slow down for this 40, which I should have already done, but that's okay. Standard practice for the speed limits. The speed limit applies as the front passes it, if it's a down, and if it's an up, the speed limit applies after the back of your train has passed it. There's a lot of unique assets, like this one up here, never seen that on a route before. It stops like a cake of butter being slid down a hot barbecue. Not real well. I think it's got a lot of potential, Florian, because I like a route that's fast and has lots of stops and is pretty busy. And it does have its busy moments. There's about one train every 13 minutes or so, I think, from memory, something along those lines should see our doors close at some point if no passengers whack me when I'm on that external camera we'll see sometimes they close by themselves and sometimes they don't so I think this one has reached that timer before it actually got to the closing point all those silly people just piled out all of a sudden and off we go there we go powering up If the safety systems stop you, um, resetting is relatively simple. Put the uh, controller to B3. Some, some kinds of resets need you to put the reverser into secure. I'm going over the top this time. It's always worth having a bit of a look down as you... Uh, pass over some of these lines because you do see other trains from time to time 
whether they be freights or rail tours or other London overground trains. You can't run on any of those lines, they're AI only. The freights go on some of the extra lines. And if you're using this in free roam, you will discover that um, some of the lines, so back at, or at Gospel Oak, I should say, at the first station, which is going to be the last station today, um, at that one, you can't even put the train on one of the tracks, it won't let you. Oh, we're just going to survive going too fast, aren't we? Let's see how fast it goes. Could be good. There's a 1938 as well, is there? Not sure if I've got that loaded, actually. Let me just quickly flick back to Steam, which you guys won't be able to see, and I'll just see if I've got that loaded, because maybe I don't. Uh, I do have it loaded, so maybe we'll see it. We're going wildly naughty speed now. I will slow down for the 30 zone, though. It seems to slow down better in B2 than it does in B3, which is a bit weird, so um, look after your needs early. There's another 710. And if you've never seen the line before, if you're wondering why the platforms seem to have a long unkempt bit and a short bit with the train stop, it's because the original electric trains that were on this line all got replaced by these shiny creatures. And the stopping points are nearly always aligned with the S marker. It says he crawling straight past it. So the people in their headphones get out. Oh, there's a collectible I haven't collected. So you see, you'll either find the defibrillator on the ground or it sits on top, depending on the different ones. What about fire extinguishers? Are there any fire extinguishers? There's another route map. We've looked at that. Uh, fire extinguishers are nearly always in the shelters, but not this one, it seems. Uh, let's run through the train like a New York maniac going, Wah! Because if you've ever been to the New York subway, I'm sure you've experienced that. Stop the uh, miscreants getting in with us. Get that closed. And we have got a green signal, so away we go. Gav says it's a rail tour that goes through Barking. Excellent, Gav, thank you. And Neil says, I saw that passing by while we're doing a journey, but won't tell exact. Okay. When we get to South Tottenham, remind me, because it's the only goblin whose location I actually remember. Yes, I know, I'm speeding. I'm just trying to get back on time. Because, you know, we're three minutes late. Maybe I should speed properly. Then we'll get on time. Back in beta times for this route, the um, goblins were a little more obvious as to where they are. I can't tell you what they were doing because I would get smacked, but um, let's just say they were more obvious. And I'm a bit sad that they're not, but as people say, that's okay. So what are people getting up to at the moment? Yes, the one where Matt couldn't find it. I was sitting there yelling at my screen on my phone, going, Matt! Ah. There's a shed. A bunch of container flats by the look, and I have to stop here. Ah. Ah. Come on, one door in the platform. One door. Just one. 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 Give me one door. Come on. One door. Yes, one door. Gotcha. 
That was very close to a missed objective. I hope not fall off the bridge. That'd be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Hmm. Distracted by a freight train. Neil says the goblins are a torture to find in this route. Some of them are. Some of them are actually quite easy. As a general hint, what I would suggest to you is the vast majority of them are near stations. They are generally in gardens, grassy areas, or bushy areas. Seems a little superfluous to honk the horn when you've already left the station. And away we go. Someone called that in the other stream a slice of tomato. I kind of like that. It's nearly a Nebworth. And of course, you know the command for Nebworth, don't you? So if I do actually muck it up, please issue the Nebworth. Because I'll deserve it. Neil says his root task video will get dropped tomorrow. Excellent. That's always very helpful. Neil is another one of the Dovetail Ambassadors. And Neil, I have to say, is a very, very brave individual. Very bold indeed. Because anybody who has any kind of speech impediment it is very difficult to get into public speaking and fantastic that neil does it and he's got a good audience so all respect to him if anybody else streams and they'd like a shout out let me know Let's see if I don't mess this one up this time, huh? There you go, now it, you know what it sounds like when it's stopping. EP brakes, followed by a little bit of brake squeal right at the end. I'm assuming this thing has disc brakes. Yes, it does. It's clamping on the outside of the wheel, which is effectively a disc brake. Modern brakes. Oh, good. Hopefully nothing will hit us, but we'll stay down here when we take off. So which cars have traction motors? Do they all have traction motors? Let's go and sit at a front one. That's probably more likely to have a traction motor. That's what they sound like. They have a, a fairly nice sound, I think. They've got a... There's the AC squeal, but there's also a nice growl to them, which is missing on a lot of AC trains, which just have a, an ear-splitting howl. Got a warning for a leafy zone. Leighton Midland Road coming up shortly. I think just saying there's a goblin back there to my left. So when you're hunting later, I'm pretty sure there's one back there. There's a fire extinguisher collectible over there on the right that I've already collected. 
anybody has any questions about the route or anything in particular that you'd like to see, please just call it out and we will take a look. Not that any rail fan would sit beside the fence, no, that wouldn't happen. Never be on the wrong side, surely. That's actually a very good question, Jay. Well, that's the signal buzzer. About N. That's on. That's on high. Hmm. Oops. I'm so busy trying to figure out the horns that I'm uh, going too fast and I'm about to overrun a station. I don't know of one, but I can't say I've tried to find one either. Uh, seize crouch. You don't get to jump in this game, but you do get to crouch. Neil says there's one for TPWS and DRA using the PZB keys. I won't press them right now. That wouldn't be a good idea. I do know that DTG are trying harder to actually have keybinds for everything. Let's try control and space. No. Not J. Sooner or later I'm going to press something, it'll break the train, you know that. Walthamstow, Queen's Road. And I was paying too much attention to horns and things, but we're still in the platform. It's all good. Nothing to see here. Should we go goblin hunting? Oops. Is this one of the stations with one? You can usually tell, because if you try and walk into the garden, you can. There's probably a goblin there. If you can't, like this station, then there won't be. In you go. Time to go. It's time to go. Don't power before the interlock comes on. It's not friendly. We go to Black Horse Road. However did that get named, do you think? Let me just ask, it's probably a bit early, but let me just ask in the Discord if there's a keybind. Just asked if there's a keybind for the whistle in the Discord, so we'll see if anything comes back, but it's probably a little bit early for them to be answering right now. Black Horse Road. Passengers, doors will open on the left. It would be cool if there were announcements, but I'm very sad to say there are not. Behind the yellow line, you.
stations as usual are a hubbub of sound. Away we go. we go to South Tottenham I will show you where the goblin is at South Tottenham and which gate to go and open and that sort of thing. Hopefully I'm coming in the right side. A lovely wetlands area here. Going too fast as usual. It's always funny to me that I go too fast in the games because on the real railway if I went too fast, I'd get my ass kicked. So naturally on the real railway, I'm a lot more careful and I should have been doing 20. I was doing triple the speed limit. It is a cool looking train. It's um, nice and modern, but it's a little bit different from the other nice modern trains. Another question I've been trying to find the answer for is whether 8th gen console players will get all the layers or not. I do not have an answer for that. Now we're allowed back to 45, let's do that. Lots of unique buildings through here. There we go, control B. Thank you to uh, DTG's James for the answer there. Oop, replying to James and not stopping at the station. Ah. All right, I'll stop this way. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do we have a signal here? No, we don't. I can back up. It's okay. Oh, uh, it's already told me. Nah, we've already missed this station. I'm defective. But that's okay, because... This was South Tottenham, wasn't it? Hopefully I can get up onto the platform. Mm, can I squeeze past the train here? Try. Because I did promise I'd say where the... Uh, you've got to spell it right. I did uh, promise I'd show you where the goblin is here. So you come down here. Is it down these stairs? Yes, down these stairs. Down here. Round here. And round the back here. Through the gates. Round past the multicoloured bikes but that are a different shape to what we've had before, which is cool. Open this gate. It's not the only thing you get to open and close in this route, but I won't spoil it for you. And what you're looking for is those little mounds, and there's a little giggling go goblin sticking out of it. But what you need to find when you're out and about is that mound. Now you imagine finding that brown thing in a garden. Could be a little uh, challenging, shall we say. When you find them, they go, hee <laughs> hee. Better shut the gate, you never know who might break in there. This is a railway station after all. Is this one of the working ones? Looks like it. Not all of them work, but most of them do. That side. Lift going down, just his luck. Now, of course, we're even later. Gas. Did I do a mini mat, or did you think the goblin looks like Matt? I was too busy thanking James for helping me. That's my trouble. Did I open the doors? I don't think so. The interlock light's on, so probably not. Alright, let's get out of here. That went well, didn't it? 
At least now you know what the goblins look like now. And we can keep using Control-B. Why didn't that work for Florian? Hey folks, it's Mean Gav. You know what, I'm just going to speed from now on. As in the station overshooting. Yes. There's a lot to look at when you're in a stream. I'm just going to speed now. Forget it. We're just going to go too fast. Let's try and get back on time by the end of the route. I don't think we'll manage it, but you know. And since the brakes are so terrible, I better start slowing down. The brakes actually seem to break harder when you're going faster, and they break less when you're getting slower. It's very strange. It's a bit hard to get used to. Um, I'm told by a driver that uh, spent some time with us in the beta that it's realistic, but it is very hard to get used to. So do I pronounce it Herring, Herringay or Herring A? Something else? I don't know. You probably can't tell me anyway because I can't hear you. All our trains and stations are lost. Loading, loading. Please do not smoke. If you have left the station premises. Oi, you. You looked in my door. Don't do that again. Shouldn't freak out at the passengers, should I? It's a little oyster card thing. I used to work for the company that made those. Long, long time ago. It's one of my gigs. We were a little tiny fare system company based in Australia and we were putting stuff in all over the world. I did the San Francisco project and got involved in quite a few others. Spent three, nearly four years in America putting in that project. It was called TransLink there. It's uh, called something else now. Off we go. Once again, 60 mile an hour. That's what the speed limit says, isn't it? It does say 60, doesn't it? Florian says they don't dri drive like Max Verstappen in real life. Well, it makes braking easier. I guess it would. Off we go to Crouch Hill. Crouch Hill to me doesn't make sense, because, you know, hills like tall, Crouches like low, so the soil just cancel each other out, it's just flat ground, right? I'm almost back on time. I should drive at double the speed limit everywhere. Let's see if we can actually stop in the station this time, though. That might be helpful, huh? A little bit. go. That's what we want. Proper stop. Neil says that he enjoyed testing this route as well. He wasn't used to the braking at first and now it is. Alright. Come on. I want to go. Let's go. Let's go. Whoops. Keep it in forwards. It keeps the brakes on even if you go into coast. Goodbye, Crouch Hill. I was worried that I'd accelerated too early then. If you accelerate before the interlock comes on, you have to reset. That's what happened to Matt on the stream. It was a good stop for a change, wasn't it? I was paying attention, that's why. There's a goblin in this stretch. There's a place you can get into that garden along there somewhere on the right. Do you enjoy finding that one? 
We're going back to 60 mile an hour to Upper Holloway, which for those who know her, I think should be called City. City works for Transport for London in their museum. And I can't say I've ever been the slightest bit interested in tours of underground stations until she got involved. Then I became interested. But who said that? I didn't say that. I'm not here. I don't think I've actually got the TFL Museum on my trip list. I should put it on there. Alrighty. Uh, performance has been fine for me. I'm capped at, um, I think I'm capped at 80. So, it, you know, sitting around there. It's doing fine. My machine is a beast, though. When you first run it, you will get some stuttering issues while it compiles stuff, but all the subsequent trips seem to be okay. I was actually worried that the update was so big right before this stream that it might need to recompile, but it seems fine to me. Alright, off we go again. Maybe we should do this one. There's another one. So you do see plenty of traffic coming the other way at the peak times of day. In the middle of the day, not so much. But if you're the kind of person that um, loves to drive 55, ooh, can we do double this? We'll try. If you're the kind of person that loves to drive varied services throughout the day and maybe you want to stay in the train and go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, like I've seen British Ace do on Bakerloo. We did that for a whole day once. Um, yeah, it's the perfect route for that sort of thing. The other thing that I find quite cool about this one is exploring the unusual stuff. I just saw a goblin on the left there. I'm going to go way too fast. Which I'm going to think about slowing down soon because we're... Uh... Well, let's hit 70 and then stop. I like a challenge. Right, there we go. B2, I think. Oop. We've got a bit of AWS going on. Last stop, Gospel Oak. crossing there but there is should have been going a little slow around this corner I'm sure now this track here as we're pulling into the dead end platform if you put a train oops put a train along here in free roam mode it won't actually go anywhere because you can only come out of this platform it's very hard and there's an AI train taking off on the left there on the other line it's very hard to um, get a train into this platform because the second one leaves, the other one's ready to come in. So if you want to get a train on here in free roam, you've got to be pretty quick because there's nearly always one waiting to come in from the one going out. All right, let's shut it down. Lights off. We can leave tail lights on auto. I'll oh, leave the AC power on. Seems fair. Let's put that into B3. And put shutdown and master key. But that means I can't close the doors, of course, so I can't finish the service. So I'll just wake that back up again just so I can finish the service. DPWS at AWS operational. Just wait for it. There we go. Time to go. There we go. Look at all that speeding. What a maniac. And a medal. Fantastic. All right. What we might try now. Is that going to take me back to the 710 timetable? It is, isn't it? I was thinking that class 20 might be cool because, you know, I haven't driven one for ages. So I want to. Class 20, Teased Valley, Custom Weather. Let's go for May again. And it's, when is it? Seven o'clock. Yeah, that'll be all right. Bit of light clouds again. 
Neil says he tends to play with the braking by reaching the platforms at 20 to 25 mile an hour. Now, let's try and figure out how to drive a Class 20 because it's been a long, long, long time. Does it even have AWS? Must have somewhere, surely. Actually, has it got a button to acknowledge? Yeah, it does. It's got a button, so there must be must be a way to turn it on somewhere. Fuse box? Ah! Be it here, won't it? One of these fuses. Exhaust. No. Alright, nothing for AWS in this cab, in this cupboard. Oh, what's that? That looks promising. There we go. And does this rechange ends as well? Yes. Ooh. That's bloody loud. Okay, now, brakes. So let's put the locomotive brake on and release that one so that we release our brakes. That should be fine. The engine's already running. Let's go into forwards. Come on, there we go, forwards. Yeah, you know, I've never been a fan of the middle. It's a... Oh. That's an elephant. Double-ended class 20s. Excellent. Well, this should be fun then. This should be pretty quick. Wait for a moment. I don't want to wait for a moment. I want to go. But we're ready to go. Windows. Windows. What are we doing on this one? Anything? No, we're just going to barking. Okay, St. Leonard's Depot to Ripple Lane. Very good. Ten seconds. Now, I've never really admitted that whether the train simulator can count or not. Train sim world, I should say. Let it warm and power on. loud, isn't it? Just brought it down a bit so it's not quite so loud. Oh, I'm not going that fast. You clearly don't like me. At least I can just use the loco brake with it being a light engine. Oh, 55. Excellent. Smoking. Now that angle only one of them smokes. Now that angle both of them smoke. Go figure. Well, we're obviously continuing our history of being naughty. Whoosh. Not that sure about the uh, new metal scoring. It's either it's very hard to get a platinum medal or it's very easy to get a platinum medal. Uh, we're supposed to be doing 30. Look how naughty we are. Maybe I will actually have to use the train brake to slow down. Oh no, it's getting there now. Do 
you want to play the Halloween scenario after we've done this? I can't remember how long this one is, but probably not very. No, it's not. Do the class 20s brakes animated a little short service platform there for dropping off the fat controller's milk in the morning. Because surely he's going to drink milk. It's not going to be anything else. Because he's the fat controller, not the drunkard controller. Route map wise, you cross lots and lots of lines. On most of these, if not all of them, I haven't personally experienced AI on all of them, but looking at Matt's recordings, um, generally speaking, you will see trains from time to time. So um, forward to the AI. Things layer in from all over the place. I've installed everything UK just to see what layers in, and I've seen lots of different things. cool to see on release day an AI train that has its pantographs up, it has a driver and it has the headlights on. Look at me behaving myself. think of class 20. A bit of a robber. It always sounds like a Massey Ferguson 35 to me. Almost a gratuitous bridge shot, but it's more of a gratuitous viaduct shot, but it'll do the job. Things like the um, diggers are getting more imaginatively placed these days and they tend to, for the most part, 
sit on the actual surface, which is good. And they're placed around where they're actually doing some work. So you can see this one, while it's not now, has at least been digging at something. It's not just sitting there. Uh, I'm missing a gratuitous bridge shot over a canal. It's one of the things on my uh, trip list is to hopefully get a drive of a canal boat. I'm waiting for a friend of a friend to come back to me as to whether he'll let me drive his. Otherwise I'll be hinting one. Back up to 45. Must just be slow crossing the canal. So what do you think of this one? Is it a yay or a nay? And if it's a nay and it's just not your thing, that's fine. But if it's a nay and you think there's something that would stop you buying it, sing out what it is so I can um, give feedback. There's one spot when you're driving you may think you're coming up to a red signal on your left. It's actually for the adjacent line. Hmm, it was a bit close there to the brickwork, but it does, does miss. Looks like you could reach out and grate your fingers on that. New York Texas Railroad. Hello, you. We're cruising along in a class 20 chopper. Get to the chopper. Florian says, Yay, it looks really good. Seems to be heaps to do from a playability point of view, and I hope the build in the future with more TFL stuff. It would be cool. What I'd love to see happen in this is, um, and please no, this is not a spoiler, this is not any kind of inside knowledge. That big complex route map, that's what I'd like to see. I'd like to see all those lines intersecting together where you could drive a train to one station, get off and get onto another line. That would just be really cool. Hello, V. How are you? How are you this fine day? It's sort of the end of the day for me. It's um, just after 10 p.m. We're just taking a little cruise in a pair of Elephant Class 20s. Because why? You can. Why else would you do it? I don't have my marker lights on, do I? Hmm. I've got discs on at least. I'm not even sure how to turn the lights on in this thing. Oh, there we go. Left hand marker, center top marker, right hand marker. Oh, you better put all the markers on. Uh -oh, we're going too fast again. And instrument lights, of course. There we go. Last stop coming up. Well, only stop, really. And the only technical issue I had seen in the previous build was people falling out of the sky and sometimes walking around on a platform. I have to say, in these two runs, I have not seen either of those things happening. 
so perhaps that's been addressed. There they are. Isn't that funny when you get... Oh, I know why. Because that's the middle locomotive, isn't it? When you get in there, that's the one in the middle. Well, that's just weird the way the cameras work. And yes, I have put the tail lights on, Neil. You're absolutely correct. That's better. At least I have my discs on. Florian says he'd like to see the Hammersmith and City Underground Line, which ends at Barking. Would also fill this route nicely with AI as the stock is different to Bakerloo. And it's that ridiculously loud AWS horn. Given the next signal's probably red, I should probably do something about my speed. Gav says that would be a good one if they ever wanted to do such a thing. And the suicidal passengers. Now, I haven't seen any now, so maybe it's been fixed. It, 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 I have to say, even in a game, as someone who actually works on trains, so I work on a heritage railway, for those who don't know, I'm a fireman. Um, I have recently been allowed onto the, uh, the more important side of the cab and been allowed to drive. When you're coming into a station or anywhere where you see people on the side of the line, it's quite disconcerting when they start to move towards the train. And even in a game, to see someone hop down on the track right in front of you and just go SPLAT! It's not what you want to see. So are we going to see a signal coming up? We had a yellow, does that imply there's a red? Just in case. It would appear so. There's a repeater there. No, it's a yellow. We're okay. In fact, it's a double yellow. It's even more okay. Calm brakes, release. There we go. Feels like we're catching up with a 710, doesn't it? GTA with trains. Yes, drummy. Yeah, it is a bit freaky. I once drove a um, real simulator for one of our actual railways, their training simulator. And in one of the scenarios in the training simulator, they weren't meant to do it to us. But in one of the scenarios in the training simulator that they run, they, they go through every possible problem you can have. And one of them is a person jumping out in front of you because they want to see how you react. To whether you're the right stuff for a train driver or not. Another double yellow. Now this is the red signal here that's not actually for you, it's for the adjacent line. Nice bit of click clack over the points back there, another 710 coming. So my next plan is to run the Halloween scenario. I don't know if we'll do all of it, but because um, it is 11 past 10 here, but we can. Because I'm doing a little bit better for time than I thought I would in showing off one freightish thing and one passenger thing. If there's anything else people would like to see, if you'd like to see the 710 on Southeastern High Speed, for example, you could do that. Put the 710 on the slow part of southeastern high speed, sort of southeastern boring speed. 
or we can run the Halloween scenario. It's interesting how the hoses jiggle on the 20 because um, often on the newer trains they actually don't. Oh, this is red. Uh oh. Where's. Yeah, oh, we're dead. Dead, 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 dead. There you go. Now you can use the thing. You use the other command. Uh oh. Uh oh. Halloween, here we come. That lulled me into a false sense of security. It's like yellow, 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 yellow. Ah! That's okay, as they say. Good evening. Tonight you'll be operating this special Halloween-themed service to Barking to celebrate spooky season. Before you get started, head on over and talk to the platform dispatcher. What's this guy reading? Sunday train watching. Of course. He's a gunzel. Hey mate, how you doing? Good evening and happy Halloween. What do you think of the decorations we've put up? Good, right? Well, they're on the train. I haven't looked yet. Anyway, tonight should be straightforward run down to Barking. Just remind you the weather has been forecast to get worse. Remember to keep an eye out during your journey. As in this fog, some hazards are difficult to spot. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Have a good night and a safe journey. So, decorations. Ah, there's one. You're in the way, mate. He's a pumpkin. And there's another pumpkin. And a guy making lattes, but he's very clever because he's a ventriloquist latte maker. Oh, we've got a little Halloween spooky sweets box. Good to see. This guy's hacking away at uh, writing code. We should probably take this train out, shouldn't we? Because clearly it wants us to. It is a nice feature that the light comes on when you come in. Set the master key to in. Of course, you're going to tell me what to do, aren't you? Set the reverser to secure. There we go. That. And that. And mark a headlight to can dig it. Unlock the doors. And let's turn on our safety systems. Vigilance and TPWS. You don't hear vigilance sound very often because it resets every time you move the controls. So we got to watch out for spooky things. Spooky. This will give us a chance to see it at night and in the fog anyway, so... We um, hop outside. It is a volumetric fog route. The headlights are amazing. I do see people going, oh, the headlights are so bright, but I reckon they're bloody awesome. That's what headlights should be. None of this candle thing. The doors are now closing. And I suppose I should go into forwards. Probably help. Looks like everybody's on board. Proceed when you're ready. Didn't lock the doors by itself in the scenario. Mm. Alright, off we go. Maybe. Come on, little blue light. Let's go. Little blue light. Can I have a little blue light? I don't have a little blue light. Where's my little blue light? I want my little blue light. Have I got something else open? Have I left a cab door open or something? Oh, the doors are open again. I must have opened them instead of closing them. That wasn't very smart. Alright, little blue light. Yay! Okay. Off we go to Upper Holloway. Um, one thing I'm not sure of is whether these screens have... No, it doesn't look like they do.
was just wanting to see if the screens had a way of making them dimmer, but it doesn't look like it. Oops. Good start. Another train waiting for us there. More of this. Alright, now we can go up to 40. No fog in the tunnel. We are indeed, Florian. seeing red lights. I don't like red lights. Or are they shunting signals? Must be shunting signals. They're not on the right side. Actually, while we're in the station, I'll pop back there and have a look at that overhead because that's cool. Stefan, hello mate. Who would have thought, eh? Not clear weather in in Britain. That that doesn't happen, does it? No. Let's just pop back to the overhead, back up here. Well, they're gonna have a hard time seeing it, aren't we? Oh no, it's gonna be backlit. It's all good. One of the things I've noticed that these guys are getting lots better at, and I appreciate it is including things like the tensioning equipment where the wires change over from one zone to another. That's really cool and appreciated. Maybe I'll just put the headlights on uh, day. That's not as bright, that's better. I didn't see anything on this platform. Did we see anything special on this platform? Any decorations or anything? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's go and find what jump scare is in store for us. Oh no. Lost the drive. Oh no. Hmm. I've actually got a whole pile of recovery software, but if it's at a recovery place, then uh, yeah, do that. That's really bad news, Stefan. I've been there with my photography library before, and it's like, well years of stuff's just gone. So I'm a little paranoid about the backups these days. Oops. Naughty. Naughty, naughty. Just saw our automatic sanding coming on there. And it was backing up to itself. That's never good. That would be a bit of a bad feeling. Mechanical issue can be okay, so if it's the motor not spinning up, that can actually be quite easy to recover. But if it's the heads, you have to hope that they did not crash land on the platter. Because if they did, even those minutely light little things 
do the most amazingly bad things when they hit the platter. I've been around a glass disk drive that uh, the old mainframe style that actually shattered when it had a head crash. And that stuff just erupted out of the drive cabinet and it went everywhere. It's a pity I can't collect it because I'm not really here. I'm only on a camera. But I'm looking for Halloween stuff and I really am not seeing any... You have to stop. Ha. Look, another Mustang in England. England's full of Mustangs. Not seeing anything Halloweeny, really. Hmm. Okay. Are there any any clues in here? Well, we do have to get out at one point. Okay. Power up. And away we go. Automatic sanding light is on because I'm pushing it too hard. So it's got wheel slip protection. It's quite good wheel slip protection, in fact. And the traction sand lead light traction sand light just went off. It's cool when little things like that just work. Good fun. Stefan says, yeah, must have happened when Windows 11 installed and the drive letters changed. Yeah, been there. I put at the root level of each of my drives a file which tells me what the drive letter is. So when Windows mucks them around, as it does when it updates occasionally, I can put them back. My biggest defense against um, crashing things, though, is these. I was uploading everything to cloud, but I was just starting to think about the cost of having eight terabytes of photos on cloud. And I thought, you know, I don't really care that much. I'm not going to pay this anymore. And I deleted it. Neil's had a drive failure as well. Yeah, it's a pretty common experience. So, um, yes, back up your backups to your backups. Stefan, for those of you who don't know, is the developer of the New Zealand Midland line and the wonderful locomotives, the EO and the JA and KB and the diesel. I can never remember what that is. Maybe that is the EO, or is that the electric one? I'm still not seeing anything Halloween y. Not really. I've got a busted door in there somewhere by the looks of it. Hello, people. Anybody seen a pumpkin? No? Goblins? No? Scary things? No? Ooh, that's the first time I've seen people standing up in here. That's kind of cool. I've never seen them actually stand up in the train before. Come on, let me close the door. It's there. I know it's there. There it is. Is that my door's closing? I think so. So it is spinning. Oh, that's good. Uh, wipers. Wiper controls are down here somewhere. There they are. I just used the rail driver, but they are the, down there. Well, they're not horrible wipers. That's good.
Yeah, hopefully you've got uh, files to recover. At least something. I mean, it's so much work that's gone into those. I don't think I've even got the scripts that you shared with me anymore because I rebuilt my machine since getting that. And because it wasn't mine, I didn't back it up. Neil had an issue with Windows, wouldn't boot, and had to change the drive order in the BIOS. Still trying to get it read as well as on my MacBook, and none of the Windows PCs load it. Yeah, that sounds like a dead one, mate. You might need to uh, change the controller card or something along those lines. Snowy thunderstorm. Who would have thunk it? Well, that's good that you've got the older stuff, Stefan, but it's not good that you've got uh, two new locos so close to being done and they're gone. Hopefully you've got the 3D models with uh, one of your other people. Watch out for these along the route, too, because goblins are sometimes near them. I'm not going to try and find that one in the dark, but I'm pretty sure there actually is one around there somewhere. Stefan says, most annoying, we've got the two new locos. Oh, okay, sorry, so Windows and Storm 2 and that PC failed on. Yeah, M2s that die are a pain. I've got a little um, machine that lets me connect into half-dead drives. Which I have found remarkably handy from time to time. It's not something you ever want to have to do. Good luck with the weight, mate. I kind of hate to think how much that might cost, too. Even snow on the diggers. How cool is that? Yeah, the modern uh, night lighting and snow is pretty good. The volumetric fog and the, the snow that grows. Oops, I'm going too fast again. No, forget it. By the time I slow down, it'll be time to speed up. TSW still does have times when I think it's too bright during the day, but night time's very nice. Snowy weather in almost any time of day is quite good. It tends to be a bit muted. 
in the lighting, which I like. I think a cup of coffee costs more than you make from the model, Stefan. And since you have to start over, maybe we should get you into Transim World. New Zealand route for Transim World, yay! I'm not seeing anything particularly Halloween-y. Let's go have a look on this station. Maybe there's something here. Doors closing. Sorry, passengers, your driver's just pissed off. Oh, that's smart. You come out of the lift and go to stairs. <laughs> oh, there's a ramp. All right. I feel dumb now. Oop, I've gone up the stairs. I'm going to go back to my train before it leaves without me. Doors closing. Got a door that's broken. Okay. What are you cretins been doing? Which door is it? There it is. The close button. Did you do that? There's something wrong there. The jeans seem to be coming out of her jumper. Maybe she's a shark. That would explain a lot. Shark in disguise. Ah, well, leave the door open. Let the miscreants watch. So that's it. That's that's the exciting, unexpected thing, is it? Stefan says, still not happy with the TSW tools. I was having another play last week. Too much relying on the public to make the documentation. Oh, look, it'll come. Too much power slipping. Hooligans are deed, drubby. Neil says he bought an M2 for beta on a streaming PC and took out one of the capture cards in a drive due to not enough PCO lanes. He used it on my gaming PC instead. Fair enough. Hello, Chris Martin. How are you? What's that flashing? Since it's so slippery, I should probably start slowing down, shouldn't I? Or I'm going to nibble with another station. year or two TSW 6 was that a bad joke it probably was a bad joke wasn't it I'll probably have Alex pipe up in the chat in a moment going don't do that you're a very naughty boy Boston Queens Road, coming up. Doors will open on the left. Mind the gap. Don't fall down the hole. Don't slip over on the snowy platform. Don't poke your eye out with an umbrella.
Hey, I've already said that, lady. Come on, two key. Come on, come on, be reliable. we go. Well, England is one of the wettest countries in Europe. I don't think it's wet compared to New Zealand South Island, but it's wet. Lots of umbrellas. at me behaving myself, driving properly, staying under the speed limit, actually stopping at the stations. Yes, Jay, we um, went through that before. I went and asked the devs. You must have gone when I put the answer in the chat. Clayton Midland Road coming up. The doors will surprise open on the left. That's if your driver doesn't pretend he's in Scotland and Nebworth thing. Florian wants Australia before New Zealand. Oh, I wouldn't mind New Zealand. I actually think doing a New Zealand route in Transim World, knowing what can be done with scenery and what can be done with mountains... I think it has the potential to be magnificent. And I remember a version of the route that Stefan made for TSC that looked absolutely amazing, but 10 frames per second. So it's had to have been um, brought back to its current levels, where it still looks good, but it doesn't look amazing. To have it looking like that amazing level would be cool. Grummy would love to see the old suburban line from Cape Town. That'd be cool. I actually like old routes. They um, interest me a lot more than modern ones do, to be honest. Mm, snow on the fire extinguishers. Very good. Platform looks slippery. You watch out for that ice, okay? And um, oh, you can't hear me, you got headphones in. Do you know at night time their eyes look so much more real, don't they? That's quite cool. I think someone's been doing some work on eyes. They've got little blood vessels and sorts of things in there now. That's excellent. I assume they're all like that. Let's have a look. Yeah, more brown eyes. What about you? What do you got? You're not going to let me in there, are you? Oh, oh well. We should probably leave. Didn't open the door, did I? No. Away we go. Do you know I always tell myself I'll never stream at night, and then I stream at night? Hmm. Okay. You don't want to... You, you do. You still want me to stop back there. Fine. I clearly stopped outside the five yards. Lightning. So I won't get, won't get the uh, points for that one. Hey C, how are you? 
I am very much looking forward to thinking of Train Sim World 4 things. The Tadami line. That's going to be great. Because Union are pretty well known for attention to detail. And they've made that line many times. And I've stopped being good. Let's go back to being good. slowing down a bit early for these platforms since it's slippery. We're not too far off ending this scenario. Is there anything that people would like to see? Because I've got to be up at 6 tomorrow which is in about 7 hours and 20 minutes from now. Let's move forward to where we're supposed to stop, so I actually get the fact that I've stopped. Ripple Lane Yard, we can do that. You have to stop within five yards of the end marker. So we're watching people get out and walk back in backwards. I love passengers in this game. That's so funny. <laughs> Let's wait till they're in there and you can stay there now. Hello, Nigel. That person's got stuck. Someone just managed to get out with the door shut. I'm impressed. They're clever. And there's an umbrella hanging out here. <laughs> That's funny. The things you see. There's another umbrella. I do love it when TSW passengers get confused. We'll pick a daytime service for Ribble Lane Yard because I'd be a little bit surprised if it was well lit at night time. I mean, it could be. Yes, the moonwalk. It's a whole train of Michael Jackson's. And they're probably back there right now singing Thriller. I'd sing it for you, but they're one of the... Uh... Apart from the fact it would be terrible. They're one of the most um, go-after-you copyright labels there is. Very happy with the night lighting on this route. Very happy with the headlights, and I hope they don't dumb them down. Because this is a modern train, modern train headlights, highly appreciated. Onstead Park coming up. Doors will open on the left. Mind the gap. Don't leave your stuff behind. I could have spoken too soon. There's lots of platforms here. No, no, we're on the left. Per Medbo Thorsby, hello. What is my favourite TSW add on? It's hard to say, you know. For a long time, it was Boston. I think Boston still has the most hours of anything I've played in this game. I do like Peak Forest quite a lot. Because I like the little Fowler. But I also like driving 101s on Peak Forest. Which, if you're watching the Train Sim World channel tonight, that's exactly what you're going to see. Me driving a 101, but it's a weird 101. It might have had some formation designer hacking done to it. Might have had some other things done to it too. You'll see tonight. 
So watch that on the Train Sim World channel. I think I'm on last. I think it's tonight anyway. Monday night, that is. UK time. Off we go to Woodgrange. Sounds like a duck. What kind of duck was it? It was a Woodgrange. Could be a wine. Woodgrange. The latest red in the long history of Grange. The Woodgrange. Nigel says, an Australian Sydney route for you, if New Zealand one that covers Arthur's Pass. Well, the author of Arthur's Pass is in fact in the chat, Stefan. But as he's related, he's had some very sad news about a drive failure, which is uh, most annoying. We just got one brief time there where the frame counter went red, I noticed. I hadn't seen that while playing before. I'm guessing with this route being relatively short that um, it all just stays in memory anyway. Nigel says favourite is Blackpool. Worst is WCE or West Coast Local. Yeah, West Coast Local could be better. Um, I don't think the 150 is as bad as this red signal is not for me just saying um, I don't think the 150 is probably as bad as people really make it out to be but the line itself could do with some some work for sure especially the little branch the little branch is nothing like reality Stefan says the pass in TSW would be quite neat, but you want better LiDAR available first. Yeah, you probably want um, minimum 10 centimetre, I would think, to create a convincing looking terrain. But at least you could use some photogrammetry to build up the scenery. Let's be really creepy and hide here behind the bush. This bush that's vibrating Yeah, 15 metres a bit, um, a bit coarse for building a route. Especially where the track is. Next and last stop will be Barking. You need to get your things together and get off the train. Don't forget your children. No one likes to leave them behind. We can't afford to pay the cleaners to take them home anymore. I'm loving these headlights. Some of the behind the scenes people don't like them very much. Oops. Did I turn on? I don't think I turned it on. Yes, I did. I was just thinking I hadn't turned on um, TBWS, but I had. Almost at parking. And then we'll jump in a freight and have a look at Ribble Yard. We'll pick a short freight and run it, may as well. It's 
So we go over the flyover. I think the yellow lights for me. Just slowing down, just in case, because you know, you know what happened last time. It didn't go well. Yeah, it's definitely the yellow lights, mine. Next stop, barking. The doors will open on the right. I wonder how many passengers would be sitting there in the train there going, what do you mean right? They're going to open behind me? Because they're all sitting sideways. This station's lit really nicely at night time. That's it. Barking is the end of the run. Sorry, people who are getting in. No point in that. You've reached your destination safely with no further incidents. Let's see how you did. Ooh, what do you reckon? I behaved myself this time. I didn't speed very much. Maybe a little bit. Let's see. All right, a lot. 780. Platinum. I don't think I deserved that, but there you go. I think it's it, what's giving me the bonus is the what's saving me is putting the safety systems on, and my stopping accuracy on this run was okay. All right, Ripple Point. Let's have a look. Blackpool is pretty cool, Nigel. I have to admit, thinking back on it, I don't play it all that much though. Timetable, how about a 60? Let's see if one of these goes there. Wembley to Ripple Lane, Wembley to Wembley. There we go. Oh, it's 38 minutes. That's a bit long. Let's find a quicker one. Let's uh, try one of the 66s. That's to be the pink one, doesn't it? Ripple Lane to Peak Forest, 27. That'll do fine. Ripple Lane shunting. Let's see a bit more of Ripple Lane that way. Let's do that. 10 minutes. And let's just put custom weather on. Here we go, Ripple Lane. You've got fifth, one meter LiDAR available. You can probably buy better than that. Uncouple 24 vehicles. Very well. We'll go do that. Here. All right. There's not much in the yard, is there? Nice smooth transition from coach to coach. Appreciate that. Should let us move. Got a 
shunting signal there. Stick your hand up if you thought I was about to run a spit run a spad. Got on you. Stop. Fine, don't then. See if I care. So now which way does it want me to go since I failed the objective? It wants me to go backwards, doesn't it? Okay. Why does it sound like the brakes are on? That's better. You just have to convince someone to shell out the dollars. We have got a shunting signal down there on our left. I keep forgetting, are these things SD70s or SD40s? I never can remember. Make up your mind. 2015, 2015. Thank you, Rail Driver, for putting the windscreen wipers on. So, welcome to Ripley Yard. There's um, a lot here, as you can tell, it's very crowded endless series of cars well them uh, that signal's not for me because it's on the right so it'll be fine look like there's there is a shunt signal and it is is it diagonal yes it is good Yellow signal. I really should use this brake, shouldn't I? That'd work much better. That'll do. I should be to go back the other way now. Wouldn't the pantograph hit that? Yes, yes, it would. The objectives are a bit tight on this one. So you've got some 0.5 meter, Stefan. The early morning light's kind of nice. I do wish they'd sort out the shadows, though. Just make them draw consistently. Oh dear. Let's try another Ripple Point one. Hmm. Hmm. Spend less time looking at the light and more time driving the train. That would be a good idea. So I pick this one. Blue one? Yeah, blue one. We won't do Ripple Lane shunting. Let's do Ripple Lane to Gospel Oak. South Tottenham to Ripple Lane. That'll do. We'll do that one. And custom. Light clouds, what time is it? 9.57, that'll be fine. 
Yep. Yep. I shall hang my head in shame. Oh, I've driven this one. Okay. Let's turn on AWS this time. I think it's up here. One of these. That one? That one. Might put up vigilance in these things because it annoys me. Get the windows open. Instrument lights. Yeah, it's good. Tail lights. Do we need tail lights? Probably not. Day running. Let's make the main brake release, but we'll go on to the direct brake. Let's coax this thing into pumping up. That makes me think that we have a brake set wrong at the other end of this. Yeah, I think we do. Usually when it's like that, the brake at the other end isn't in shutdown. Let's just come and have a look. It's a bit sad if it is. release I don't want to sit in the seat though no, fine. I'll sit in the seat that should be fine that should be fine actually you know what might also be it might not be cut in let's go and just make sure it's cut in maybe it's not because I'm so used to it being cut in that if it's not I might have ignored that so we do uh, down down right select brakes are cut out cut in there we go that's what it was cool now we'll be able to release the brakes There we go. Come on. Right. Now we're good. Good to go. Are we going to power up? Feels like no. Why though? We're moving. Engine's running. Got a brake type set. Parking brake's not on. Why aren't we powering? Oh, idiot. I am so used to all these damn switches being on now that we finally get one where you have to do something and they're not. Right, this time for sure, Ollie. There we go. We've been spoilt lately with all those switches always being right, so it's kind of annoying that in that particular scenario, they were not. the miscreant steal your bag they won't do anything because that's not national security
This will be our last run for this evening. Relax the little locomotive there. Maybe not, because now we're going too fast anyway. Sort of a gratuitous bridge shot. Can we go through there? Can't. And there's no goblin. Something on the cars. It's always vaguely amuses me doing this. We should probably drive our train, huh? Notch 8, here we come. Be the right way up. Is this the first route where they've been the right way up? Could be. Could be. Sixty-six miles and a sixty-six. I'm sure I've done more than that, but you know, I do rebuild this a lot. There's so many different kinds of sleeper arrangements and ballast arrangements on this route, it's quite amazing. Even next to each other like this, where you've got one line in the original ballast and one line in clearly new ballast. But looking at photos, this is realistic. And I appreciate the level of detail. Somewhat sure to whine about it, but that's okay. I'll leave you to find them for yourself, but there's a couple of spots where you can actually escape from the fenced in world and go exploring. There's the bench seat, which is a real one, that it's meant to be like that, that Matt showed us on the stream. But there's a couple of others. There's a goblin in those bushes, just saying. Back on the left there. No spotter. Ooh, they'll be in trouble.
I was just sort of thinking for Sunday's stream, what I might do is um, drive some services up and then drive them back and just do the round robin for a while. That could be interesting. I'm back on my normal streaming time this Sunday. On the real train again on Saturday, it's the Thomas the Tank Engine show. I'm driving, well not driving, but firing James. I probably will get a drive during the day, but I'm not officially driving it. Yes, Thomas stays always busy with all the little tykes. All wanting to see the train. Just thinking what time it must be for you, Stephen. It's a little early in the morning for you, I would have thought. I was about to go into dynamic breaks and I remembered this doesn't have them. There's not much else you really can do, Stefan. You just go back on and work on it. <laughs> it's just life, isn't it? It's not as though you can just go, well, you know, it's been my passion all these years and I just won't do it anymore. Well, of course you could, but it's not that likely, is it? I was lined up in the uh, local computer shop. Actually, not the local one, because the local one doesn't actually have what I want. It was a nearby one. And I recognised a person in the line as a streamer that's well known for ranting and raving. And he was ranting and raving at the guy in the computer shop. And it sounded remarkably like he had a bit of a heat issue like I did a while back. And I'm thinking... Good luck solving that. And the guy behind the counter had uh, clearly ascertained his technical abilities and gone, would you like to bring it in here and just pay a service fee and we can look at it for you? And that got more ranting and raving. It's met my personal degree of amusement quite well.
you couldn't be a person who rage quits Stefan. Because people who develop for Train Sim Classic have to have the patience of a saint. Because I've done a little bit of development for TSE, nothing on routes itself beyond building racetracks and stuff like that, but nothing serious. But scenarios, I've done quite a lot of serious scenarios, and you spend hours on this thing and it just goes, poof, out of memory. And you go, great. And you run it again, it's fine. And you give it to someone else and they run it and it goes, poof, out of memory. And you go, great. That's what we wanted. I'm wondering if I've got motion blur turned on. No, I don't think so. It's a bit sort of... Which is weird given the frame rate. I do kind of feel for the guy going through heat problems, but he's such a knob, I'd rather just laugh at him. Indeed, a normal TSC day without a million crashes for no apparent reason. Yep. You think it's a nice stable game, just open the editor. It'll never be stable again. Three miles away from our last stop for this stream. I will stream it again on Sunday. That's my Sunday morning. And if anybody has any requests, just chuck me a line in my Discord. Link is on the channel. Hello, Mark Moss. You can finally have a modern GWE timetable, Maverick. Fair enough. But I'll be streaming this again on my Sunday morning, so 8.30am Australian Eastern Daylight Time. For now, we're almost at the changeover spot, but not quite. And if you've just joined, then um, feel free to rewind in a few minutes when we finish. As we finish our initial tour of the Goblin Suffragettes line. You never really want to get this close to a train. It might hit you. Stefan says, open the blueprint editor and listen to all your PC fans ramp up and watch the CPU temp go up by 20 degrees. Just because it's open, not doing anything. Yep. That sounds like Adobe Lightroom. I'm going to use lots of power because I can. I'm not doing anything, but I'm going to pretend to. Yes, some of it does get shiny at particular times of the day. We're getting into the the time of the day where I think the lighting is not optimal in the game. But, you know, there are people that like it. 
and I get what they're trying to do I get that they're, they're trying to cover the brighter time of the day when you look at it and the colors are a little bit washed out and that sort of thing but it's doing some other stuff that's not cool false sense of security 60 mile an hour coming up doesn't last long though signal's green oh it's going down for the 40 drop that's fine because we're almost there anyway i wonder if it's solved in ue5 but i know a lot of the game developers clearly solve it because their games don't have it I have to say I'm quite impressed with how um, Unity's looking in Railroader. It's a 710 coming over the top here. say hello to them as you do heading into Ripplehead Yard I think doesn't actually say but yes as soon as he says I'm on foot service name's wrong There are a lot of new train games lately. Still not much coming out on console though. It's all PC based stuff. Which is interesting because I reckon the real money is in consoles. Attract yourself a million console players and you've home and hosed. No AWS magnet on this signal. There's a lot of new ones coming out too. The market's getting quite... Um, crowded Is there a shunt signal up there? That's the question. Or are we just going to run up to that signal and stop? Distance looks about right, doesn't it? You think railroader and railroads on railroader and railroads online? It was the same devs. They had a bit of a split. They've nailed the look and feel of Steam, but not the water consumption or firing. There is a game coming out which is um, going to have actual manual firing in it, which I haven't decided whether it's going to be interesting or not. Looks like we get to drive right up to this signal. Like, scarily close to it. Like, really close to it.
Wait for a moment. This will be it, though, because I don't think you can get in there. Unless it changes, we'll see. We'll wait and see. We're waiting for a moment. I hate to think how many hours I've put in Railroader, Stefan. It's a bit... Well, that'll be it then. So, oh dear glod, look at that. I behaved myself nearly the whole time. I hardly sped at all, and I got a glod. Oh well, that's life. Anyway, I think that that'll be it for tonight. So thank you very much for joining in and watching. I've really enjoyed the chat, and I hope you did too. Uh, I will stream this again on Sunday. I'll work out a program of stuff that seems to be interesting for all of us. And... Uh, Hopefully by then I've had a haircut, because if I go firing on Saturday and I haven't had a haircut, I probably won't have any hair left when the firebox goes woof, as it does sometimes. Anyway, have fun, enjoy yourselves, and see you later. Bye now.